Breaking news. Jihad Analytics, a consultancy company with you know which processes data on global and cyber jihad says Nigeria now has the highest number of attacks by the Islamic State IS. According to report, half of the attacks claimed by the Islamic State since the beginning of 2022 were in Africa, while the Islamic State in West African province, that is the ISWAP, and affiliated of the Islamic State, is now more active in Nigeria. Data by Jihad Analytics showed that while Nigeria has recorded a total of 162 Islamic State operations since January 2022, Iraq has recorded 120. Can you just imagine? Nigeria recorded 162, whereas the main country recorded just 120. Since the beginning of the year, the Islamic State has conducted half of its attacks in Africa, the company wrote in a tweet on Friday. For the first time in the history of the Jihad group, Iraq is no longer the country where the Islamic State claims the highest number of operations. The group, that is ISWAP, is now more active in Nigeria. As of March, Nigeria ranked the sixth on the 2022 Global Terrorism Index, GTI. The ranking was viewed as a relative improvement as Nigeria dropped two places from the fourth position, a position it had been since 2017. Islamic State has killed thousands and displaced millions in northeastern Nigeria. It has also severely attacked the convoy of the governor of Bono State, Babagana Umara Zulo. The group has killed thousands and displaced millions in the northeastern Nigeria. The Nigerian military has repeatedly claimed that the insurgency has repeatedly claimed that, you know, the Nigerian military pardon has repeatedly claimed that the insurgency had been largely defeated and frequently underplayed any losses. In the past month, soldiers have been targeted by the insurgents who laid in ambush on their path. What is your thought to this? As you can see, a lot is happening. A lot is happening and a lot is yet to happen if everything should continue like this. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this pain development? We would like you to share it with us via the comment section. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. As you can see, Nigeria has not overtaken in anything good. Recently, Nigeria has just overtaken Iraq in times of terror activities by the Islamic State. Nigeria, Iraq is said to have recorded 120, while Nigeria has recorded a total of 162 IS operations since January 2022. What is your thought to this? Recently also we've heard about Nigeria being dropped out of the Qatar 2022 World Cup by the Ghanaians. Nigeria never improved in the AFCON also. Nigeria was dropped. Nigeria never improved in all these competitive aspects, but Nigeria has extremely improved in terms of terror attacks from the Islamic State. What is your own thought to this? What is your own reaction? Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this pain development? Nigeria is now upgrading on the other side and not on the good path. Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this? You know what seems to amaze me is that despite the issue, despite the terrorists, despite the insecurity ravaging the whole state, 
the whole Nigeria. We can still see President Muhammad Buhari, you know, boldly telling Nigerians that he's going to return Nigeria back to normal even before he leaves office after seven years of failure. What is your own thought to this? We would like you to let us know your own reaction to the spend development. But before we go, let's people's reactions and all their thoughts to this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the print situation of things in Nigeria. Arinze GN reacted and said, Nigerians have failed to understand that Buhari and Erofai are one of the international rank commanders of ISIS or rather ISWAP in the West Africa. What is your thought to this that Nigerians have failed to understand that Buhari and Erofai are one of the international ring leaders of these people? What is your thought to this? Don't tell me that Abasanjo is a good man. Don't tell me that, you know, Osimbanjo is a good man, pardon. Osimbanjo will contest under APC. Osimbanjo will work with the same APC as president. If you vote Osimbanjo, you are voting for the same APC again and this mess will continue. This is another reaction from a green man saying that if you vote for Osibanjo, you are voting for the same APC again and this mess will continue. APC is a mess and they will want to come back. Shame on those who are still you know, stupid enough to vote for APC again. What is your own reaction to this? Said APC is the problem. APC needs to get out of government. That is what people want. Do you think APC is the problem? Do you think the party is the problem or the people? Who are being called the party leaders. Recently, we've heard about the APC convention where the APC leader who has a million fraud on hanging on his neck chosen as the APC new leader, whereas he has a fraud case on his neck with the EFCC and still, still chosen as the leader. Can you now see that? This APC government is led by corrupt leaders. The problem is not from the party APC, but from the people who call themselves the leaders of the party who are the main APC members. What is your thought to this? Who would like you to let us know your own reaction to this? You like to share your own point of view with us? By the comment section, no wonder a person just said it times the number that Nigeria is a failed state. Imagine overtaking Iraq in terms of highest attacks recorded by the islamic state terrorist we would like you to let us know your thought to this to forget that nigeria order buhari has overtake iraq as country with highest attack by islamic state terrorists thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the other news bye for now